Hi, it's Goddess Go 2, June 30th, 2015. Sorry I didn't make a video last night, like I promised you guys. I fell asleep early, and then right after I watched Amish, and I just was sick, I wasn't feeling too good, so sorry about that. But, um, before we get on, well, let's get to the show. Basically, what happened to the show. Um, what happened was the, I liked the, a lot of people are apparently on Twitter is bitching about the intro not being the same, and not being the square blocks, and blah, blah, blah. I like the way they did the new intro. It kind of reminds me of Hell's Kitchen. Yes, I watch Hell's Kitchen. If you do, let me know in the comments down below and we'll talk about it. I just don't make videos of it because there's nothing really to talk about. But on Hell's <coughs> Kitchen, they do these fancy like things and for their intros and the way they did this intro with the water going through each person. I mean, that was awesome. I don't know how they recorded that or made that or whatever, but it was awesome. And then the way they did um, the nominations, that was different, and people were bitching about that too, saying, I liked it with the slant, with, I don't know, a lot of people were like, I liked it with the circle, where it took time, and, and each person would pull out a key, and, and it took a long time to figure out who was on the block. They just went right to it. Well, when you got a lot of events and things to go through, you have to do it a manly time. And they did it in a short amount of time. And they had to do it that way. They had to shorten the nomination so that you, you guys can hear them talk game. If all they did was show you each event the way they used to, then you would be bored out of your mind. You'd be like, oh, so we're not going to, so all, we don't know jack shit about any of these house guests unless we watch the live feeds or TVGN because they took forever with the events. I mean, they didn't even show us the have not game. Who got have not? Because they didn't have time because they shortened the nominations. We got to hear them talking. We got to hear an alliance a form, which I'll talk about with Devin. Mm. We'll get started with how come I don't like Devin anymore. And they talked about then they did the whole battle on the block and everything else. And I loved how it was just this box that they opened up and only they got to see it and they, Joy just got to see it and and all the keys go in there and everything and then they just bring down a little box of the two that they chose and Victoria she cracked me the fuck up she had no idea that she was going to go on the block and the reason why they put them on the block I thought was the stupidest reason in the whole world if all the CHOHs are just gonna pick people off because and not tell them the truth, or just pick them off because oh they were first out on the HOH competition, that's dumb. You put on the box who you think should go home. Why didn't Frankie put Zach up on the block? which I already talked about in my spoiler video, if you watched it. If you didn't watch my spoiler video, don't be all like, well, CBS ed edits things to make it seem like people are mad at each other when they're really not, and blah, 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 blah. Yes, that's true. CBS does do that. Yes, I'm not stupid. I know that, but I don't care because part of what they said about the person is probably true. Things change in the house quickly because people can change people's minds quickly because they have a long period of time to do so. It's not like Survivor where they have one opinion and nobody can change it quickly. 
because after three days, boom, you're voting someone out. But on Big Brother, you have like a week. So, you know. So, anyways, I just. He put up Victoria, Frankie put up Victoria and Brittany, and he said it was because of the game, because they were first out on the HOH thing, and blah, blah, blah. And then, because it, it was so funny it, how usually they don't go right, they don't go straight ahead and say, who wants to see my HOH when you're right on the spot. Usually they do a recap of the show and what happened and then they go right into the show where they talk to the house guests or the house guests are talking or whatever and then they go right into who wants to see my age agent. So that was a little different. Didn't really care for that. But it's so funny how Victoria's all like, I'm a princess and princess always gets the throne and always gets what she wants. And I know my man Frankie will have my back and let me use this because when I first came into the house, he was like, you're my girl, I love you, we're going to be fine too, we're going to work together, and blah, 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 and then when he put on the block, she was hit. I mean, he, him and Caleb was all like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, me, 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 like, you ain't sorry, if you were fucking sorry, you would put them, wouldn't put them on the block. And then she, and then he's trying to fix it by saying, oh, I'm sorry, I was gonna, like, he lied to her. I don't like people lying to people, but she need to be lied to to shut her fucking mouth. That's for damn sure. She's being annoying. <coughs> but, um, Pow Pow, I guess, is what we'll call her. The DJ girl, P-A-O-L-A, and... Donnie, the reason why they lost is because Papa doesn't know how to swing. She's like, I haven't swinged on the swing since I was six. And she was six. Hello. How could you only be on the swing since she was, like, at the age of six but not later on in life? I don't even know. Every time she talks, it just annoys the fuck out of me. And her face expressions to me feel like she's mad all the time. But anyways, let's get started with the, um, the Lions thing that I meant to talk about in the last spoiler video, but forgot about. And I just want to apologize for that. So as you can see, there is the bomb squad, and how that were formed was by like was just in the room, and Cody, Caleb, and Devin. No, it was, I don't remember. I know a couple of the boys came into the room and said, hey, we should form a for all the boys, blah, blah, blah. And then they got Derek and Zach all in into it. And then Devin started acting all weird and stuff. And he started adding people into the group without talking to the group first. So he brought in Christine and Amber. And Christine's all like, I'm Alliance. I'm loyal to Nicole. That's the only person I'm loyal to. I'm not going to be loyal to anybody else but Nicole. That's fine, and Danny. And, and everything, but De I didn't like how Devin was lying to Donnie, telling Donnie, yeah, I'm with you 100%, it's you and me, you and me, and yet it's not, <laughs> and he was just telling him what he wanted to hear. And really, he would not nothing to do with Donnie. Because when Donnie, apparently when Donnie told a joke, apparently, he went up to the boys and was like, I'm paranoid of Donnie. He should be on the block. I think he's lying about who he says he is. I think he says something comedian or whatever. And it's like, dude, it's like, Devin, you're being weird. I liked you in the interview and everything. But now seeing you in the house, I don't like you anymore. You, Zag, and Pow Pow's gotta go. You three's gotta go. And that Christine's gotta go. She She's kind of annoying and weird, in my opinion. But, uh, sorry. I keep looking over at my TV. 
they're doing a show called Hoarder, Buried Alive, and this guy look, likes to look like Elvis, and he has everything Elvis all over his walls, floors, everywhere. But anyways, so that's the bomb squad. People, and some people on Twitter are bitching and complaining and saying, I don't like the bomb squad. I don't like the all boys like that's boring they do that every year blah, blah, blah. no they don't do that every year second of all they only get aligned to people they think they can trust they can't help it if all they trust is boys it's just my opinion on that and one more thing I want to address is that I was fighting with a girl on Facebook or I mean on Twitter She was telling me, she goes, why don't you just buy the life feeds, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? I'm not buying the life feeds so you can get over yourself because I'm sorry. I don't work my ass off all day long to, at my job just to come home and go, oh, I got to pay my my big brother bill the live feeds of a reality show sorry my bills are being paid with food over m with food in my mouth clothes on my back and a roof over my head I'm not gonna fluff it and waste m my money that I worked hard for for big brother live feeds and I'm not, and I don't have TBG in, so, and don't give me this whole bullshit. The reason why there's no videos out there of After Dark is because it's illegal, blah, 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 copyright. Don't give me that bullshit. The only people that give a shit about copyright bullshit is YouTube. They find it, they block you, they spin your account right away. But, Tumblr does not do that. Tumblr does not give a shit what you post on your page. Daily Motion don't give a shit either. There's a guy on there. I think his name is like Quick Dude or Quick something. Um, let me look on my thing real quick. He's on my thing. His name is Quick Q U I R K Y Dude. Quicky Dude. He kept getting in trouble for posting CBS um, Big Brother episodes on YouTube, so he put it, so he put it on Daily Motion, and they don't give a fuck. He's been on there for almost a year now. They haven't caught him. They haven't touched him. And I just wish he would put After Dark pictures, yeah, After Dark videos up, so I can watch those. But it's whatever. It's, we gotta hurry up and get to the Twitter tweet, retweets. Um, after Wednesday, I'm not doing live retweets anymore because you guys ain't hashtagging GG2BB and talking to me during the show. It, in my opinion, if you have time to watch the show, you have time to to comment and to tweet and go on the Surviving Big Brother page and post a comment there. Don't, I have 148 members, but yet you can't tell I do because nobody comments. I mean, I see you commenting on everybody else's page. If you watch my videos or if you comment, down in the comments down below, type hashtag GG2BB, and if you are on the Surviving Big Brother page, just say, hey, I watch your videos, I watch... I look at your pictures and stuff, and I just want to say you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Sorry, I don't comment. I just don't know what to say. That's fine. If you don't know what to say, just say thank you for the pictures, or thank you for showing this, or whatever. And I'll be there, and I, and you'll know. If you go to Real Oh Yeah Army, you can see all my retweets there, because I apparently I can't give them out right now, because I'm in... 14 minutes of my recording and I don't want it to end so I am going to get going I just wanted to address that real quick um talk to people later bye